you don't know about perseverance until you start going through it, right? You, you, those are words and you, kids will hear adversity and things of that nature. But, you know, for me, you know, every step of the way, there was constant adversity and perseverance. And I think that's normal with anyone on their journey. And when you love something, you either are going to keep working towards it or you're going to, you're going to give in to the adversity of perseverance. And one of the biggest lessons I learned on my journey was just patience, realizing that, you know, becoming great didn't happen in three months or a year. Um, it took years of committed work, years. And I think that's one of the most difficult things for so many kids and people is they get bored. They get impatient. They, they think that once you go from fifth grade to seventh grade, it's supposed to be a whole new set of skills and drills. It's not. It's simple fundamentals. You know, it's, it's doing them hard and doing them right. And maybe the pace of everything changes and we can add a little wrinkle to this or that. But it's, it's basketball. You know, it's passing, it's dribbling, it's shooting, it's feel, it's footwork, it's IQ. And, and those skills, you know, those simple fundamentals that you're learning when you're young... That's what we did every day in high school. That's what made us great. And that's what we did in college. And that's what we did at the next level. Um, it's the people that think that when they get older, they're supposed to be doing fancier skills or something's supposed to look different. And it's like, no. And that's why those people fall off. And the people that become great are the ones that fell in love with that repetition, fell in love with doing simple. And then looking at, you know, breaking down their footwork or where their hand is or, the angle of something or, you know, those little details that then begin to separate it.